is fear. Fear is that unpleasant emotion that you feel when you are in threat or danger by something or someone. It is that feeling that makes your heart beat faster, that gives goosebumps all over your body. Now, what fear is for me is, imagine entering a room and finding a cockroach. That's not the scary part. The scary part is when you realize that it has wings. Why on earth did God give these creatures wings? Like, not like they weren't already scary. Good evening fellow Toastmasters and my dear guests. I'm not shy to admit it. Cockroach is my fear. It's like God had a plan and he had a group meeting with all his angels and I sat down and decided like we need to make a scary creature. And the angels went, let's give it six, six legs. Okay, that's a good idea. Let's make it the color red. So that's dangerous. That's a good idea. Let's make it indestructible. All these are good, but it's missing something. God, let's give it wings. That's a great idea. You get a V-band and 250 gems. <laughs> now, cockroach is my fear. But I remember the first time I felt scared, powerless, insignificant. It was in 7th standard. I was having a stroll in my school ground. And these kids were playing hide and seek. And after the guy ended up counting, he came straight up to me and he asked me, do you know where they hid? I said, I don't know. But I know one guy, he's hiding right there. But little did I know, this was a life or death future deciding match for him. He comes straight up to me. Have you ever been in an accident before? Like you'll relate to what I'm about to say. Everything turns slow motion and you're so scared that you can't do anything. He comes straight up to me, holds me by my collar and he pulls me closer like I'm his girlfriend. And instead of giving kisses, he starts punching me. He goes bam, 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 non-stop. And the only thing that I'm doing is, is praying that he stops punching me. I can't do anything. After he punches me, he drops me on the floor and he walks away. Now I lay there motionless, like a cut down tree. I couldn't do anything. I stood up with all the energy I had left. The, whole, the kids that were running around and playing stopped. I felt like the whole world stopped and was looking at me, like a weakling. I wiped my bruises and the sand off my face and I had my very first walk of shame. Now, I learned three important lessons that day. First is, you have to walk the walk of shame alone. Second, you have to overcome this fear. Third, it's not a good feeling to get punched in the face. So what I did was, I joined a boxing institute, I paid them and I got punched in the face again. Now, now what, what happened was, I wanted to overcome this fear and I went there. Now, fear is like a fake friend. He's going to always be there with you. No matter what happens, how uncomfortable, scary you are, fear will be there. But what it does is, it steals away the moments that define you. It steals that away. So you would not never experienced true bliss. Now, I had to work so hard to overcome that fear and that day had come. My first day in a boxing ring, with an experienced state-level boxer. I was scared. I couldn't punch him. I was scared. I, I threw my punches so, so slow, I couldn't punch him. My friend kept screaming, don't punch him, don't punch him. But I saw an opening in his guard and I went, bam, I went there. Now, this was two defining moments for me. The first one was the friend that had been screaming, don't punch him, vaporized, he vanished. I couldn't, I'm not afraid anymore. Second was, Oh my god, I just punched a state level boxer. I'm not afraid anymore, I come back. I see an opening again, but this time he kept it open. I go, go to punch him, he knocks my punch down, and he gives a right to my face. I'm like... I see blood coming out of my nose. Like, stop, stop right there. And I see my friend screaming, Ha ha ha, I told you so. Don't punch him. And my fear hadn't gone. But this time I smiled back at him because I knew I needed fear. You shouldn't let fear control you. Let fear advise you. Don't let fear stop you from trying anything at all. But let fear stop you from doing dumb mistakes. Let it stop you. Now fear, like having courage, does not mean 
you're not afraid anymore having courage means you're afraid but you can overpower it you can go through it like that is that is what fear means it is not a fake it's not dangerous you need fear now coming to toastmasters wouldn't bury your fear that's not fear you wouldn't never be able like sarthak said you will never be not afraid you'll always be afraid but toastmasters will give you the strength to overpower that fear so like i said whatever it be like fear you can overcome it and the only way to overcome fear is to punch fear in the face and deal with it let it be fear of public speaking let it be fear of heights fear of water so with that i say don't be afraid of anything don't let fear control you you can be afraid of cockroaches that's a different thing but other than that don't be afraid of anything else thank you